Hello everyone, this is Marie with Telestai Creations, and I just wanted to show you all my snappy pads. This right here is the outer of the snappy pad. I will be adding a snap on each of the wings so that it can snap around the undergarment of your choice. And then you will be able to snap the liner part onto the snappy pad. Make sure I'm snapping it into the right end here. Like so. And then what will happen is when you wear it and it comes comes time to change it, um, you just unsnap it and take this part of the snappy pad off like that fold this up and you can either put it in a little pouch put a rubber band around it or whatever you choose then you get your fresh pad you snap it in place in your underwear and you're off this part of the pad right here stays in the underwear unless it becomes soiled then um, you put a new one of these in also. The um, snappy pad part here it has a top layer which on these it's cloth uh, cotton, 100% cotton then it has four layers of absorbency and then on the back it just has a backing fabric. These can be made with a PUL on the back um, the uh, exterior part here can be made with a PUL in it also if you want to and not have it on this part but then you risk the back of this pad bleeding through onto the snappy part in your um, undergarment so I would recommend putting the PUL in the, the pad part and what's really great about these is in my opinion because I've been making them for a while um, is the fact that they come off of the base and then you have the pad and you have the pad base and when you wash these it's a much thinner unit than washing it all together like this um, there's nothing wrong with this just being sewn directly on top of the base like that there's plenty of um, exposed core pads out there that are amazing but I thought the um, idea of changing these out these little snap pad parts um, off of the base would be more convenient for me just because when you take the pad off and put on a new pad um, you fold this up you fold this over it and you fold this over it and you snap it together and it makes a big bulky thing even though it's a really awesome sealed unit it's really cool but it makes it so much bigger than just snapping this and carrying just this little bit in your purse. You could carry a couple of extra ones in your purse in cute little baggies. People think they were earbuds or whatever. If anybody's going through your purse, then you're in trouble anyway. But um, there's this right here. I guess if you were like getting money out or something like that at a register and all they saw was a cute little pouch like this, they wouldn't know, oh, you have pads in your bag. Um, but anyways, this is just the intro to it. I want to share this idea with everyone just in case they're interested um, this right here is a snappy pad base so I reinforce all of my snaps with a very thick stabilizer I really like that I think it really helps with the thin cotton to reinforce just that little snap right there and then this is the outer fabric and this is the inner fabric for this particular style that I'm making. This is for my sister-in-law. Um, and then this is going to snap on like that. Now this is for a front bleeder type of person who, uh, with their uterus is tipped and they bleed mostly to the front. That's what um, I make this style for. It's really easy if you just wanted to turn it around. When you put your pad together, you just make sure that <clears throat> the uh, fatter part is in the rear. It, it, it's very simple. You just turn your pad around and then you can put this part in the back if you're a back bleeder. 
um, they, they are asymmetrical, so like I said, this is fatter at this end than it is at this end, and it's longer a little bit at this end than it is at this end, so there's that, and if anybody is interested in seeing how I make these up, or any of my other cloth pads that I make and share, um, please feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. Um, so anyhow, this is the snappy pad, and I can maybe figure out how to get a pattern out there for you guys, or something like that, if you're, if you're interested at all. Anyways, have a blessed day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.